primary thing I'm going to be prioritizing is uh, teaching people how wrong we are in the way we think about the safety of jacks and the way that we talk about the safety of jacks. And so this, my belief fully, uh, and, and it's based on an enormous amount of literature, is that there is zero MACE risk, there's zero VTE risk, uh, cancer risk, risk of death, all of the things in the black in the, in the box warnings, we have really strong evidence to say that those things are not risks at all. And so I'm going to be going through some of that evidence uh, as well as how I talk to patients because it is such a crucial thing. You can have all the evidence in the world, but if the if the label, if they get a thing at the pharmacy that said, this is going to kill you, you have to talk to them about it. And you can't just say, well, some guy told me not to worry about it. You've got to have almost a script that you are ready to use and you have to know the rationale behind that script that it, uh, so that if the patients then ask you questions, you're ready to go with them. And that's what I'm really going to be focusing on is really helping people understand how safe these drugs are. And second, how to have a very brief, so it's about a one minute conversation with the patient about the box warning. Uh, it, and it's a conversation that I'm totally comfortable if somebody recorded me uh, and then played it in court, I would be like, yep, I agree with everything I said. Uh, so that's going to be my main focus is, is teaching about the safety and how to talk to patients about the safety. Yep. So to, to give you kind of the sneak preview of what the discussion looks like, the discussion is uh, me telling them the very specific words are all of the data has shown no risk and the biggest question that I get after that is, so it's been, so the patient say, so it's been proven that there's no risk of heart attacks or strokes or blood clots or any of those things. And having to answer, so that's the most common question. And the correct answer is no, it hasn't been proven, but it also hasn't been proven that doxycycline doesn't cause cancer. Right. There's not been a 10 year safety study of taking doxycycline and seeing does it change your intestinal microbiome and put you more at risk for colorectal cancer. That is possible. Like we don't have proof that that doesn't happen. So now I'm not going to go into that depth of a conversation with the patient. With the patient, I more say something like, no, it's not been proven. Now there's no. So when I say all the data has shown, we've looked really hard in tens, 20s of thousands of patients and not been able to find any risk. Now that doesn't prove that there isn't, right? So we, you know, it has not been proven that your car is not going to explode whenever you go out to it and turn the key. That does happen, right? And so it is possible that, you know, that's going to happen. It hasn't been proven, but, but it, so it's, it's similar to that. And so that, and, and I will in my sort of presentation really go over specifically how I, that, that's the gist of my answer, but that's specifically. And then if they say, well, if there's any, and then, then the patient, some patients like, oh yeah, I get it. Other patients are like, well, if there's any chance that it might increase the risk of any of those things, I don't want to take, okay, fine. I mean, I, I can't tell you there's absolutely, it's been proven there's no risk. So it just means, well, okay, we're not going to use that medication. And, you know, let's talk about what the other options are. Uh, but that's the biggest question that I get back from the patients.